Hello everyone. Welcome to Telugu One Academy. Today we will be learning about more of the Central Armed Police Forces and especially our concentration for day will be the Border Security Force and the Central Industrial Security Force. Now coming back, the Border Security Force BSF with its motto the duty unto death is the first line of defense for Indian territory. It guards the Indo-Pakistan territory and also guards the Indo-Bangladesh region from the insertion of uh, refugees into India and also to counter the terrorist activities through the border region. So, about the border security force, let's learn about the border security force more. What are its mandates, what are its peacetime and what time mandates and how it was formed, where it does all its uh, power or is it a, does it has any act regarding its powers. So, till 1965, in the Indian borders, you see Indo-Pak border was got, guarded by the police in that states, okay. Border with Pakistan were manned by the state armed police battalions. But when uh, there was an outbreak of war in the uh, year 1965, then thought it was not enough by just police force to guard the border, but we need a special force to guard this border. On 9th April 1965, Pakistan attacked Sardar Post and Chebar Bet and Beria Bet in the Kutch area. This exposed the inadequacies of the state armed police to cope with the armed aggression due to which the government of India felt the need of a specialized centrally controlled border security force uh, which would be armed and trained to man the international border with Pakistan. By till that time my friends, the then East Pakistan which is today's Bangladesh was not formed. That's why we see the mandate including the Bangladesh border and Pakistan border is under the control of PSF today. As a result of the recommendations of the committee of secretariats, the border security force came into existence in the year 1965 on 1st December. Please note down the year because on the first slide itself I have shown you 50 glorious years of the border security force. Please observe that picture by going back to that picture. Okay. So what are the role of border security force? Let's see it has both mandates peace time and war time. What does it do in the peace time? Promotes a sense of security among people living around the border areas. Prevent transboundary crimes, unauthorized entry and exit into the territory of India. Prevent smuggling and any other illegal activity. Especially my friends, the border area with the Bangladesh is very porous and even the border area with Pakistan, especially the regions of Kutch, which is very marshy terrain and the regions of Rajasthan which are included in the deserts and the northern boundaries which are included in the Himalayan mountain and Hindu Kush regions are very hard to guard and even those areas it is in tandem with the Indian army to protect our borders in those border areas with Pakistan and Bangladesh. And there is a lot of cross-border drugs coming into especially because of India's closeness to the Golden Triangle which is near the Burma and Thailand region, Laos, Burma and etc. And the Golden Crescent which we have learned in the money laundering, drug abuse in those chapters. Please one can go through that again. And what is the wartime mandate of the border security force? So let's see that. Holding the ground is less threat threatened sectors as long as main attack does not develop in a particular sector and it is felt that the local situation is within the capability of BSF to deal with. They need to hold the ground so that army will come. Protection of the vital installations, particularly the airfields which are used by the air force against enemies command and paratroopers or rights. Very, very important. Next, limited aggression, my friends. Limited aggression against paramilitary or irregular forces of enemy within the overall plan of armor forces. Performing special tasks connected with the intelligence, including rights. Acting as a guide in the area of responsibility where the routes are unknown. Okay. To the army, they guide where the routes are. They know about the routes and how to travel and all around. Maintain law and order 
in enemy territory administered under the control of the army. Whenever one army captures an enemy territory, they maintain the law and order. That is, they do the police uh, act whenever army captures an, a new area during the war time. Guarding the prisoners of war cages, okay, so that the prisoners are not killed, they are not un undergoing any brutality. Assistance in control of refugees, okay, and even anti infiltration duties in specified areas. Uh, these are the war mandates, my friend. So, even BSF has some uh, special detachments, okay. Uh, two of the very major special detachments one is the Creek Crocodile. Creek crocodile, very important, please note down. This creek crocodile uh, is uh, very important in the case of guarding the Indo Park border, especially in the Kutch region. Okay, the creek crocodile is a specialized commando unit of BSF. The prime objective of this unit is to act quick reaction force and prevent smuggling and infiltration by unwanted elements. The unit specifically deployed at Indus River estuaries in Gujarat, especially the name itself says it guards the Sir Creek. You can see Sir Creek. Okay. Next, it was raised in 2009. The base of operations of this unit are located in Koteshwar. Outpost of BSF is currently having the strength of 42 members. Next, BSF even has its own camel con contingent because it guards the desert regions of Rajasthan which borders the Pakistan. That's why it has its own camel contingent. The BSF camel contingent is a specialized battalion size camelry unit which have its own routes in Bikaner camel corps. Okay, One can see in a Republic Day parade we see the BSF unit of camels coming and uh, displaying their uh, uh, ca cavalry or camel uh, contingency. The primary purpose of this unit is to patrol the desert section of the border with Pakistan. It is a unit to a strength. It has around 1200 camels, my friends. There is a separate camel research institution in the state of Rajasthan, which looks into the breeding of specialized camels, uh, which can serve the India, especially in this border region. And around 8,800 ri riders, both camels as well as riders are trained at Camel Training Center located in the BSF Frontier headquarter in Jodhpur, they train the camels and the people. With force modernized and pacing up, BSF has equipped its formation across uh, the western borders with all terrain vehicles and other specialized apparatus. Let me show you the figures of this all terrain vehicles. Uh, all terrain vehicles are nothing but which have a conveyor belt so that they can easily travel on any terrain rather than rubber tights as in the case of tanks. Sometimes even rubber tights are used for those vehicles which are those rubber tights are very large in diameter and also very thick in that case you can observe those figures also. It works under the Border Security Force Act. You can see Border Security Force BSF works under the Act, BSF Act 1972. It was later uh, uh, it came after almost like 8 years after the BSF came into existence in 1965. BSF has its own air wing, it has its own pilots, its own helicopters, flights and etc. And it even has its own uh, water unit or marine wing along with the uh, artillery regiment. It has, uh, it, it is very very important point, please note it down. It has tear smoke unit for providing tear gas munitions required for anti riot forces okay all the tear gas which is being used by the police forces in india comes from the tear gas unit of border security force it breeds and trains dogs at national level next important very very important points most of the central armed police forces my friends they have their own dog units but bsf have been breeding specialized dogs especially for the purpose of border guarding Okay, they can even detect landmines in the region of borders. Okay, it has three battalions at Kolkata, Guwahati, Patna, designated as National Disaster Response Force. So, this itself says Border Security Force is not just a border guarding force, but has also played a greater role in pace of peacekeeping and also disaster rescue operations. Here one can observe 
these are the any terrain vehicles here in this figure you can see my friends you can see the high tires and belts and uh, in this you can see the air wing and uh, here you can see the marine wing of uh, border security force these are directly taken from the website of border security force okay next up so apart from these mandates that is both wartime and peacetime mandates and the act and all whatever it has been done Border security force is one of the efficient force, but there have also been controversies of honey trapping and also smuggling, bribery in the case of border security force. Apart from that, things border security force is still efficient because we are living in a peaceful manner in our nation, India. So, apart from that, border security force also contributes its troop for UN peacekeeping mission, okay, for UN missions. During Kargil conflict in May 1999, the BSF remi remained on the heights of the mountains and defended the integrity of the country with all might and its command in the unison with the army. BSF personnel have been performing internal security duty in the case of Manipur, please note it down, for the last two years and have been successfully fighting the insurgency in the region. During the earthquake in Gujarat in 26 January 2001, it was BSF who were went on the ground at the first to reach and help the distressed people. During the communal disturbances in Gujarat, it was again BSF personnel went out to restore the amenity and brotherhood of the people. And BSF took over the erection of the border fencing in Jammu and Kashmir and it was successfully in the task despite all attempts of Pakistan to shatter it. It was the force which had laid its own fence my friends you can see BSF has been defending the borders along with the army and checking infiltration on the borders during the current standoff with the Pakistan so now we'll end our topic on the border security on the border security force we'll end our topic here and we'll just go to the central industrial security force uh, which has its motto as uh, what is the motto of Central Industrial Security Force, my friends? That is, protection and security is the motto. The motto of any Central Armed Police Forces is very, very important to note down. Because there might be a prelims question. If you are even writing the Central Armed Police Forces examination, which is conducted by UPSC, these all topics are very, very important for one to write your preliminary examination in that. Even this force has completed it 50 years of induction. We will go more about this force. The CISF is an armor force union established under the act of Central Industrial Security Force Act uh, 1968. Okay. In the year 1969, the strength of the force established with the help of 3,129 personnel. Today it is with uh, 1,63,000 personnel. Sir. It is the only central armed police force which has its own fire fighting wing. Okay. CSF has 74 other formations including 12 reserve battalions and 8 training institutions. Sir. According to the mandate, CSF provides security to the premises, staff along with the security of property and establishments. Sir. Okay, these are all important points, my friends. Please note down. Okay, it provides security not only to the staff, it also provides security to the property and all. And every installation, nuclear installation is under the control of Central Industrial Security Force. CSF is providing security to strategic establishments, including Department of Space, ISRO, Department of Atomic Energy, nuclear power plants, etc. Even airports, even metros, okay. Delhi Metro especially, the Delhi Metro is under the control of uh, CISF, the ports, historical monuments and the basic areas of Indian economy such as petroleum and natural gas, electricity, steel, mining and coal PSUs of India. After 2008-2611 attack, CISF Act has been amended to provide even security to the private sector that is if the private company or a private industry want the security of CISF they can just uh, apply for that and they need to pay the CISF uh, that is simply called CISF is a compensatory cost force please note it down 
This is very, very important. The terminology, what you write in your answer, makes your answer to fetch more and more marks. Please remember this point. So CISF is a compensatory cost force that is nothing but it does work and get paid according to that work. Whereas state police forces, if they are given additional authority or additional work of guarding state PSUs, they are not paid extra. But in CISF, they are paid extra apart from their regular payment. CISF is providing protection to some private sector units and important government buildings in Delhi. Presently, CASF is also providing security to protect persons classified as XYZ security, Z plus security categories. All these securities also are provided by CISF. Note this down. If you listen a point Z category, Z plus, then who are those personnel brought from? Those personnel are brought out from CISF. And I have told you, please note this point, CASF is the only central armed police force uh, which has its own firefighting institution. Okay. Now, what is the vision, mission and motto of a central industrial security force? The vision is to be a premier multi-faced force upholding internal security and securing nation's critical infrastructure and assets. This is its vision. To protect all the critical infrastructure of my nation is its uh, vision. And next, what is its mission? How it's going to achieve this vision is uh, to realize and organize uh, vision in a cost-effective manner through optimal utilization of resources, constantly upgrading skills and developing core competencies, adopting state-of-art technologies and providing holistic security. And as I told you, CSF as a motto that is protection and security. So my friends, here we come to the end of this class where we have learned about the two major central arm police force institutions. One is BSF and another is CISF. Friends, in the previous classes, I have told you the mandates of C various other uh, security forces which come under central arm police forces. Please also look through those classes and uh, I have also provided you various maps uh, which point out which force got which border. So try to make your answer beautiful by drawing maps even in your internal security paper which is sign Q or none at some of the times. So thank you for watching my video. This is Nikhil from Telugu One Academy. Thank you.